In this video, I want to give you the basics on creating your squeeze page. And the squeeze page is going to be the page that you send people to when they sign up for your mailing list. And your squeeze page has one objective and one objective alone, and that is to get people to sign up for your list, to download your free offer, and then be able to receive further emails from you. So your squeeze page must, first of all, be compelling, and it must be non-distracting. So you want to make sure that they can't explore other parts of your site while they're looking at your squeeze page. So people who come to your squeeze page really only have two options. They can either sign up or they can leave. Now, obviously, you want them to sign up. So let's do a crash course on creating a squeeze page. And here we have a good example of a squeeze page. And this is just a simple HTML page, which I made using SeaMonkey, which is a free open source HTML compositing software, which you can download for free from this URL. And a lot of people, when you say HTML, they go, oh, well, that's so old fashioned. Well, yes, it is, but it still works. And the thing about this is, as I was saying earlier, you cannot do anything other than either sign up or leave when you come to a page like this. And SeaMonkey will do all the HTML coding for you. You can see here's the uh, HTML uh, source. And if we go back to normal mode here, you can get a better idea as to how it all looks. What we have is we have, first of all, a compelling pre-headline that draws people's attention in. Then you have a benefit-laden headline you know, download our free report today and discover an amazing benefit so you would make sure there are plenty of benefits in the headline then you have three columns here over here on the far left hand side you're going to have a graphic about your free report or if you're giving away software you might have a software box here but it's something to grab the viewer's attention something that uh, they're going to look at in the middle column you're going to list the benefits to the uh, prospect if they download their report so it says here in this amazing report you'll discover and then you list the benefits as bullet points as many as you can think of then over here in the third column over here on the right hand side we have the instructions that tell people what to do just enter your first name and primary email address in the box below and our fact filled free report will be on its way to you then you have the sign up box and you'll get the code for this let's just go back to html code again you'll get the code for this from your autoresponder company and you can just simply copy and paste it in when you use SeaMonkey, it is actually very easy to do let's just go back to normal again and then you need to have something enticing on the send button don't just have submit because that's a bit boring so what i've got on this one is send me my report so people will fill out their first name their email address and click send me my report and then their report will be sent to them or rather they'll be added to the email list they'll be sent the confirmation email and then once they've confirmed they'll get another email that has the download link uh, for their free report in addition to sending your prospects to a squeeze page you can also use a pop-up to get your sign up box right in front of your prospect now pop-ups have a bit of a bad reputation a few years ago you used to get lots of pop-ups on websites so much so that um, browser developers like Microsoft or like um, 
Thunderbird, Mozilla, all programmed their internet browsers so that you could block out pop-ups. But particularly if you have a WordPress site, there are some ways around that, and you can use a plugin to make an unblockable pop-up. And these unblockable pop-ups are better known as pop-overs, and you can install them from within the WordPress dashboard. Just go to Plugins and then Add New, and then do a search here for Popover. And you'll see there are a number of different ones here that you can get. And what these will do, they'll basically cover the screen when somebody comes to your WordPress blog with a version of your squeeze page. And it lets people simply enter their details there. And because it covers the screen, uh, you're not going to get any distractions. And again, people will have the option to either enter their details or leave. 